G'day everyone, I'm at Bangkok Suwanapun International Airport and I'm just about to fly on Cathay Pacific to Hong Kong. I caught a taxi to the airport which took one hour in peak hour traffic and cost just over 300 Thai baht. The Cathay Pacific check-in counters are located close to entrance number 7, so get your taxi driver to drop you off at the end of the drop-off area. Suwanapum Airport is a busy and noisy airport, handling more than 60 million passengers each year and 95 different airlines. When I checked in there was no queue at the Cathay Pacific counters and the whole process took just a few minutes, which gave me plenty of time to roam around the airport. While Suwanapun Airport has some spectacular architecture, it is not the best airport for plane spotting. This lattice works prevents you from getting a good view of the aircraft. From the terminal, this is the best view I got of my Cathay Pacific aircraft. It's not until you go down to the boarding gate you get a better view of your plane. Now this airport has a number of different free Wi-Fi services all of which you need to sign up with either a phone number or some form of ID. I found this free Google Wi-Fi service which I was able to connect to but it was very slow and dropped out when I used it. When it comes to food there is a huge selection to choose from. Most of these restaurants also offer a free Wi-Fi service and provide you a password after you've purchased something. Okay now it's time to get on board and check out the Cathay Pacific flight experience. Cathay Pacific has 29 Airbus A330 300s in service, with four different configurations. This particular A330 has two classes, business class with 39 seats and economy class with 233 seats, which is a total of 272 passengers. The economy seats have a width of 18.2 inches and a pitch of 32 inches, which gives some really good legroom between my knees and the seat in front. In the seat in front, there are some small pockets to store your passport and your mobile phone. The food tray has this nice cup holder, which I actually never use and then the table folds down, slides forward, and is quite sturdy to hold your meal. You'll find a copy of the Cathay Pacific in-flight magazine called Discovery, which has some great travel articles in both English and Chinese. There's also this small touchscreen entertainment unit, which is loaded up with a stack of the latest release movies, and it also has this nice flight map with moving graphics to show you the route your plane is taking. And just under the entertainment unit is a USB port for charging your electronic devices. Now everyone's in their seats and it's almost time to go. So sit back and enjoy the takeoff video and I'll be back after to show you the food served on board. Thank you. 
Shortly after takeoff, the cabin crew came around and served lunch. On this flight, we had a choice of a vegetarian pasta dish or this very tasty Thai green curry with rice and pumpkin. Now you can't complain about the amount of food that they serve on Cathay Pacific. With this meal, they served a bread roll, some sliced fruit and a tasty haagen ice cream. This is my third flight with Cathay in less than two weeks and I give the quality of their food my two thumbs up. Well done Cathay Pacific. Three flights and all the meals have been great. So another great flight with Cathay Pacific. As I mentioned, this has been my third flight with Cathay in the last few weeks and all of the flights have been great. Great food is served on board and all of the cabin crew have been friendly and served with a smile. I have one more flight review with Cathay Pacific which I will post up next week, flying from Hong Kong to Sydney. I must say I have quickly become a big fan of Cathay Pacific and would definitely fly with them again next time I have a chance to fly via Hong Kong. So thanks for watching, now enjoy the landing into Hong Kong airport.